Hey guys, it's Miles 5 and 7. This is episode 225 of my series, Things to Build in Minecraft. Name is Epstead's Dunk Tank. And this is a pretty simple redstone design for a dunk tank. And if you don't know what a dunk tank is, it's pretty much one of those things that you see at like a carnival or something like that where someone's sitting up on the, uh, you know, sitting up on like a little platform or whatever and you have to throw uh, balls or something like that and hit a target. And when you hit it, the platform or whatever like drops and the person falls in the water. And uh, I made it in Minecraft and it's pretty simple. And, uh, you know, if you got, like, a, a mini-game world or, like, a carnival or anything like that in your world and you want to add this to it, it's pretty simple. It doesn't require a whole lot of redstone or anything like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool. And I hope you guys like it. So, to get started, we're going to take some yellow stained clay or whatever material you want. Just, I like yellow stained clay. That's what I'm using. Uh, you're going to go over by eight. Or you're going to make eight blocks total. So, eight blocks. Then you're going to take some red stained clay, bring it up by three, and then just completely fill in like the whole the whole yellow stained clay line you made and then right at the top you're just gonna take yellow stained clay again right on top and just make it look like that just you know kinda colorful looks pretty cool and uh, next order of business you're gonna wanna go in by three from the right side throw in some white wool and you're gonna make your target and then you're gonna take red wool through in the center I just throw red wool in because it kinda can not contrast but it's a dis different different texture is the word I'm going for uh, from the rest of it, so it kind of stands out as the target. Throw a button on it because you need the button because you're going to be using a bow and arrow and it'll activate it. Uh, next, you're going to want to take a ladder, build it up on or er, on two on the bottom left side right here, as you can see. And then uh, take some white stained clay and just do what I do. I'm just throwing something down here just because I don't want it to just be grass, so it's supposed to look like that. Next, this is the spot where people are going to be. Uh, this is where the water is going to be. But I just completely fill it in with white stained clay because I think it just makes it look nicer. So like that. Add your water. So boom. It's going to look like that. And that is it for the front. And that is just the, like the core design or whatever. So now we're going to move on to the back. Going to clear my hot bar real quick. And uh, what we're going to need is you're going to need red stained clay. You're just going to need a block to place redstone on. Uh, you are going to need redstone. You're going to need redstone repeater. You're going to need redstone torch. You're going to need a sticky piston. And I think that is it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, now you're just gonna do two blocks like this. You know, one on the white, uh, white wool right here, and then one on the ground. Then over here, you're just gonna go one block back, place it like that, so it's gonna look like this. And uh, then you're gonna put redstone repeater, redstone torch, like this. And then you're going to place your piston. So it's a nope, not like that. Place your piston so it is like that, above the redstone torch pretty much. So it goes and extends this block right here out above the water. And then you're just going to take some redstone and you're going to connect it to your button. And voila, that is the build. Going to press the button, it will retract the piston. And yeah, that is for, or that is it for the build. That is uh, everything you need to build the build. To build the build, that's a new one. All right, so I'm gonna take a bow here just to kind of show you guys that it works. And uh, I'm gonna try to test on a villager, but chances are the villager is going to run away. So that's why it's better to play with your friends, but if you wanted to, you could probably just add in something just to trap the villager up here or something like that if you wanted to. So yeah, but it's mainly intended just to play with your friends or something like that. And it's also just a cool aesthetic build. You could just throw it in somewhere, but, uh, but yeah. So throw the villager on here. Hopefully he stays. And uh, pop it down. I suck at aiming. There we go. Falls in the water. And then see, he can get out if you wanted to. You can get out yourself. And then if you want to be a bit of a jerk, you steal the arrows. And then they get trapped in there. But if you actually get trapped in there, you can press the button from being stuck inside there. But uh, yeah, that is it for the build. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I haven't been uploading things to build as much. So I wanted to give you guys something cool. I really enjoyed making this build. And I hope you guys do like it. Because I think it's pretty cool and it's redstone and it's fancy and it's awesome. And I also ask that you guys go check out a video. There's going to be a link and an annotation on screen. Uh, me and Waffle started a Minecraft Let's Play on the PC. We made a server uh, just for me and him just to have fun. Kind of just play something because I was getting a little tired of making the Minecraft Let's Plays. And I was like, I still want to play the game. But let's change it up. So it's me and him playing in a world. And uh, I'm, I'm having a blast so far. I'm having a lot of fun. I got a lot more episodes to come. And I just ask that if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. Drop a like if you like it. You know, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah. But uh, once again, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, see ya.